guys, oh my god, this is my first, how do you say that? My first shot that I'm gonna put into my new vlog for the Owl's Magical Readathon. This readathon started on Wednesday, April 1st, and right now it is Friday, April 3rd. And I have one reason why the vlog is only like just starting on the 3rd, and that is that I had a really big paper due for today. So I wrote that, I handed in my assignment this morning. For the past week, I haven't done any reading, meaning that I'm still currently reading Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I have about 90 pages that I still need to read and this was not my plan. I really wanted to finish this before the beginning of April, before the readathon would start, but it just couldn't happen because of that paper because I started quite late, hence why I worked my butt off for the last week. I don't know what I made of it. I did my best. I need to finish this book at least by tomorrow. So I'm gonna read some tonight. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight because I'm just a very slow reader and I don't really read a lot of hours after each other. Like I need to take breaks in between. So I want to read about like 40 to 50 pages today and then 40 to 50 pages tomorrow in the morning. I also have a final due on April 9th because now we have the finals online. But I'm so grateful that university is making that available. But I still need to watch all of the lectures as well because I missed those because I was writing my paper. I'm not a good example of a student who is keeping up with her schoolwork during these quarantine times. I find it very difficult to stay really motivated. But after that final on April 9th, I don't have anything to do until April 20th. So hopefully I will be able to catch up a lot with my reading. During those like one and a half to two weeks, I just shipped my Etsy orders, my very first batch. And I'm so grateful and so excited because I prepared 22 packages and I shipped them all out. That is just incredible. Instead of rambling on right now, let's Let's read like 40 to 50 pages in Six of Crows. Even though I love all of my babies in Six of Crows and this story is just so thrilling and exciting, I just haven't picked it up in over a week, which just makes me feel really bad. Now I'm gonna sit down, shut my mouth, <laughs> and um, read some in Six of Crows. I just, I need to finish it to start my owls TBR. Okay, goodbye. Hi guys, today it is April 4th. I'm at page 450 right now of Six of Crows, meaning that yesterday I read about 45, I think. I did what I wanted and now I need to read 41 more pages. It is like a quarter past 12 right now in the afternoon and at one, I'm gonna go on a walk with my mom. Ooh, I need to finish an Etsy order for that. So I'm gonna do that first and then read some in Six of Crows. I don't think I'll be able to finish it before one, but I'm definitely gonna finish it right after that. After that, I can finally start reading book for my magical owls readathon on TBR after that and I'm so pumped. Okay, so let's pack the Etsy order and then read and then I'll go on a walk because it's so nice outside right now. Okay, so I actually didn't read the book then. I went for a walk with my mom and now I'm gonna sit outside because it's just I mean, look at that. It is just so incredibly nice. I'm gonna sit outside and finish Six of Crows with this beautiful weather. from me from this really flattering angle and I look just absolutely amazing. It is still April 4th. It is almost 9 p.m. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a reading update because I have an update. First of all, I finished Six of Crows and I gave it five out of five stars. Holy crap, I look like an egg. The ending had me shook. Oh my God, I am just so in love with all these characters. I just care so much for them. I'm very curious to see where this story is gonna go with Crooked Kingdom, which I will not be reading immediately. I do have this on my Owl's TBR, but I just don't really feel like reading it right now. <sighs> this collector's edition, if you have the money or you just haven't bought Six of Crows or Crooked Kingdom yet and you do want a really beautiful edition, pick these up because the extra artwork that is in here, I mean, just, just look at this. It is just so stunning. I mean, just oh, look at these. 
my babies they look so so good look at nina she is so fierce i still think like jasper he's one of my favorite characters because he is just really really charming just oh, look at him he's so gorgeous i think nina and jasper are my favorite characters of the series until so far i know that wyland is gonna have a perspective in crooked kingdom and i'm very excited about that since leonie from the book leo described wyland to be her precious little cinnamon roll and i am all here for that but i just downloaded the scribed script app on my phone i took a free 30-day trial and i am currently listening and currently reading sadie by courtney summers i've only listened to the first chapter on my phone so i haven't read that one but i think that you alternate between the podcast and sadie sadie is a 19 year old girl whose 13 year old sister has been murdered and she is out for revenge the guy who is making the podcast is called west mckay he has been given the project to talk about this like murder and this mystery because sadie is missing and no one really knows where to find her but apparently the longer that we follow these characters a deeply unsettling mystery begins to unfold can he find sadie before it's too late i'm very curious to see where this one will go by listening to the first chapter on audiobook it just oh my god it feels like listening to all of these murder podcasts that i've been listening to on spotify and it just gives me these really cool creepy vibes i never really read mystery that much but i am very excited to continue on with this book so i'm gonna listen to it a little bit more because i'm just very curious to see how this story will unfold i'm also doing a instagram read along like a buddy read with two people we will give each other updates every single 50 pages that we read the story so i'm gonna keep track of my thoughts a little bit whilst i'm reading this book really really hope that i'm gonna love sadie and that it's just gonna blow my mind. <laughs> Hi guys, today it is Sunday, April 5th, and not only is the magical readathon obviously still going on, but also the basically readathon is happening today. I am participating also in the basically readathon, but I'm a very slow reader, so I never read like hundreds of pages. Today I'm definitely spending more time reading than I have in the past couple of weeks. So I'm still currently reading Sadie. The audiobook, until so far along with it, is so incredible. You just get little bits of information and it intrigues me a lot and I definitely think that I am enjoying this book so much more even because I'm listening to the audiobook it adds a really cool experience to it not to say that the book by itself wouldn't be good but I do think the audiobook elevates my enjoyment of it and Brit sent me a message on whatsapp and she asked me with other booktubers like the book Leo Leonie but also Leora from Leo Wait, their channel names are confusing me so much. You have books with Leo and the book Leo. Their channel names are so similar. So Leonie and Leora, they are two different people. But also with Michelle from Books Michelle and yeah, myself and Brit, obviously. The live show will be at 8.30 tonight. I'm very excited. This is gonna be my third live show. I'm very excited about that. Holy shit, have I looked better before, but uh, I, I guess we're just gonna have to roll with it. Oh, I look so awful. So it will be a short update. Okay, so it is April 6th. It is 7.30 in the evening. I still need to do another lecture for school and then I've caught up with everything, but I'm not feeling it. So tonight all I'm gonna do is read more in Sadie. It has an indenture of a switchblade on the cover which is just really really cool i am over halfway through almost two-thirds of the way through actually and i am loving this book like so incredibly much i definitely think that if i wouldn't listen to the audiobook i would be struggling a bit more to get through it but this has a full cast of voice actors so it's making it feel so incredibly real and um sadie's bits in the story because you switch between two perspectives sadie is such an unreliable narrator i am just so curious because i feel like things are gonna unfold in the next 100 pages um of the story 
story and I really hope it's gonna happen and then I'm gonna be shook up. Buddy reading this with two girls on Instagram, which makes it even so much more fun because we are discussing like possibilities of what is gonna happen or that Sadie is a very unreliable narrator. So I'm gonna read one more chapter in this and then I'm gonna start editing my March wrap up because I really wanna get it up tomorrow on the 7th because then it's already like a week into April. So yeah, that was my little update, like almost 66% of the way through Sadie and I would definitely recommend this book and especially reading it together with the audiobook. But um, if you've ever heard anyone talk about this book, then they have probably said that as well. So you all know that you should probably read this audiobook. It is so, so good. Okay, goodbye folks. Hopefully next time I will be a lot more like put together and just better looking I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh you guys the weather is so good. It is April 7th. It is a little like almost dinner time ish. It is 5 10 in the afternoon. I'm making a vegetarian stew kind of thing because I would really like to eat more vegetarian meals. So today I was in the woods all day. It was just it's so lovely outside these past couple of days. So that's making everything a little bit more okay. <sighs> oh my God, I am really liking Sadie and reading this book makes me realize I need to read more YA thriller or like murder mystery novels or just in general, not even like YA, but also new adult, maybe adult. I don't know. It's a genre that I've never really dived into and it always makes me a little nervous when I reach out to a new genre or something like that. I really wanted to reach page 200 yesterday, but then my boyfriend came and I wanted to added my March wrap-up video so I did that instead so I'm on page 191 I would love it and be so proud of myself if I would finish this tomorrow because it's been such a long time since I've finished a book in a couple of days plus it's such a good book and the mystery it's just oh my god like what is gonna happen so yeah making dinner I will also be playing some Animal Crossing right now before dinner happens I have to wait like 20 minutes before the stew is kind of done so yeah I'm gonna take care of my my little town and my Animal Crossing things. I don't do time traveling in Animal Crossing just because I want the gratification and like the rewarding feeling of waiting a full day before big things happen in the city. So that's why I'm not time hopping, time traveling, whatever. This is not my Switch, it's my boyfriend's, but I have claimed it uh, while he is playing Fortnite. I am playing Animal Crossing. So yeah. Uh. <laughs> It is just so calming and soothing just trying to take care of your own little city. Look, this is my little avatar. You do see a reflection, so I'm sorry for that. She also has a little bag, which I think is just so cute, and like little Harry Potter glasses. And, oh, uh, it just looks so adorable. <laughs> afternoon people here is your favorite potato talking to you guys about my day until so far so it is 1 p.m in the afternoon i made myself the famous like tiktok instagram coffee right now so delgona coffee and i have to say i really really like it well my voice really it's like a really nice and creamy iced coffee it's just really really good and i read a lot in sadie alongside with that like i believe about 40 to 50 pages and i'm definitely gonna finish it today that book is just so thrilling and I'm really at this point in the story where I just want to find out how it's gonna go and it's just insane. My goal for today is to finish all the multiple choice questions that I have to come up with for my final. It's really difficult to come up with good multiple choice questions. Plus, I've also not done the reading that I should have done for this course. Some people can be super productive and do the things that they are dreading the most and like do that first and get it out of the way, but I still need to finish thank you notes for my Etsy orders. Yesterday evening, I made all of the envelopes. I decorated them. I 
put the orders in there as well so that is done the only thing that i need to do right now is make a thank you note and i like that better than making the multiple choice questions and i know that if i do schoolwork right now i will try to make it as quickly as possible so that i can work on my etsy orders and i don't want that so i want to be the perfect student and be like i'm gonna nail this shit i'm gonna do it right now but i'm I'm not like that. I'm just gonna show you the real me. So first I'm gonna make the thank you notes and finish my Etsy orders and then I'm gonna do my final because otherwise I know that I'm just, I'm not gonna be focused. <laughs> Okay guys, my battery is dying so I don't know how much I will be able to tell you, but I finished Sadie, I finished reading it. I think I read like 80 or 90 pages today. Oh, I'm actually quite red from probably sitting in the sun and riding my bike and stuff like that. Wow, I look like a tomato compared to the rest of my body. But yeah, I finished Sadie. I won't spoil anything, but the ending made me feel very conflicted and if you've read this book you probably understand why it made me feel that way i want to make another video of if you love this netflix show then you will probably like this book and i think a little spoiler alert maybe for that video in the future but if you loved mind hunter on netflix i'm pretty sure that you will really like sadie the podcast bits in between definitely remind me of mind hunter i feel like this book deals a lot with the whole psychology and the reasoning behind wanting to kill someone or just it deals with I think a lot of mental stuff in this book and Mindhunter is a series which focuses on serial killers and two psychologists are trying to kind of they are basically the inventors the discoverers of if you can say that I don't know of the term serial killer in the series Mindhunter and these two psychologists go on trips to different serial killers and they try to talk to them about like why they murdered people and stuff like that and for some reason it wasn't like directly like that in this book but they just remind me a lot of each other and I think that if you like this you will like Mind Hunter and the other way around. I gave this one a four out of five stars. It was not your classic murder mystery novel like not at all. I actually I'm fascinated by this book. It's not one of my favorite reads but it is a different book from what I would normally read and I really appreciate it. It's very interesting. That's all that I have to say about it. I think tonight I will be reading some in Harry Potter right now because that will I think be my second read of this readathon. I'm just not feeling like picking up Crooked Kingdom or Curse of Dark and Lonely. I've actually been thinking about changing one of the books on my TBR because I just don't really feel like reading a Curse of Dark and Lonely. I really want to read contemporary but I don't have that on my TBR. Maybe I need to find a way to in a very sneaky way change my TBR. I don't know. Can I find a contemporary with a heart on the cover? Would you consider Grisha to be magicians like kind of wizards? I don't know but my camera is dying so I need to stop talking and charge my battery. <laughs> Good morning today. It is Thursday, April 9th. I just made myself a really nice breakfast of banana pancakes. I wish I had better toppings with like fruit and just to make it perfectly aesthetically pleasing but I literally just put syrup on them. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my breakfast and after that I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do things for my final because I just want to be done with it. Hi guys! <laughs> wow that sounded like so fake. I finished all of the multiple questions that I had to put into my final and now I only need to do the open questions but right now I've done the big thing. I've made 15 multiple choice questions while I did not really do any of the reading so hopefully they are okay. I don't know but right now I'm gonna clean my room. Oh I feel uncomfortable showing you guys my belly but my room is a freaking mess. My plan for now is to clean my room. I just also need to clean my desk because I mean that is just that is not that clean. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just cleaned my room and it's like so, so clean. It feels so nice to just clean it and now I feel like I can just, 
walk anywhere <laughs> and just do my thing and do my dance. I'm gonna film a special announcement video because I turned 21 on the 14th of April. Of course, I can't celebrate that right now with all of my loved ones and my friends, hence why I want to celebrate it with you guys in a live show, but I think that when I upload this video, the live show will be done and it doesn't really make any sense, so let me just film that video. I mean, just look at my clean room. I even planted some hopefully new plants that will grow really nicely and um, yeah, I cleaned my desk. Like, look at this. This is a nice and clean workspace. Before in this tray, there were like candles and just decorative stuff, but I made it a useful space right now with all of my art supplies and my journals and my notebooks. Also my bookmarks, I put them there. I cleaned all of my shelves and I rearranged my bookshelves as well. I did make a video of that. I don't really love bookshelf reorganizations. Like I never watch them myself. I also don't really watch bookshelf tours, but I know that you guys really love those. I mean, I'd definitely be up for a bookshelf tour video, but I just don't like filming reorganizations because I'm just struggling while reorganizing my shelves and then the video is just like a mess. At least it is in my head. And so I don't really like that. For the readathon, I haven't read anything anymore in Harry Potter and I'm gonna go to my boyfriend really soon, but I do wanna take a book with me. And I'm just like, shall I take the big illustrated Harry Potter with me? Like that is just not that easy. So I'm thinking about maybe taking Crooked Kingdom with me, but I just don't really feel like reading that one. So I think it's gonna be Harry Potter. And tomorrow I really want to finish my final so I can just hand it in and have one and a half weeks off. Hi guys, okay, I need to focus. Focus on me, please. Thank you. So today it is April 11th. I've been at my boyfriend's house for like two days, hence why I haven't vlogged anything because I didn't bring my camera with me. I actually just re-recorded my birthday party announcement video live show thing. <laughs> Let's give you guys a little bit of an update about what I have been reading. <clears throat> Not much is all that I can say until so far. I have picked up it's a really big book. I have picked up Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition, and I think I've read a chapter, which is not much, but it's not nothing. I am on page 110 out of the, let's have a look, 326. So I'm like one third of the way through, am I right? Yeah, I am planning on reading this a bit more in the garden. By the way, I love my shirt. Ugh. This is me, I'm an Aries. <laughs> I'm gonna edit a photo for my bookstagram. This is the end result. Follow me on bookstagram, please. <laughs> I'm noticing that I always feel very intimidated to post something on bookstagram because I want it to look pretty and I want it to kind of fit my theme even though I don't really have one. I want my theme though to be really bright and white and light and just nice. <laughs> but that's the thing because I never really have a lot of inspiration for um, what I should post on my bookstagram and I find it really, really difficult. But I do talk to you guys a lot on bookstagram in my stories, which I really like, but I just need to post more photos as well. Hi guys, it is my birthday. And I'm saying this quite enthusiastically while it has been the most boring first day that I've ever had. I've literally done nothing. Like I only took a bath. I watched Peaky Blinders with my boyfriend. We just went on a little walk and it is almost 5.30 in the afternoon right now. Luckily I have my live show which starts in like three and a half hours and I will be joined by some wonderful friends on there. Leora from Books with Leo, Brit from Basically Brit, also Tasman from Tea Books and Tasman, plus Leonie from the book Leo. So at least I have that to look forward to. But I just did my hair. I'm gonna do a little bit of my makeup because I mean I gotta look a little more put together on my own birthday live show. I should also give you guys a little bit of a reading update. So I'm over two-thirds of the way through of Harry Potter and it's just so wonderful. I'm reminded why I love Prisoner of Azkaban so much and I can definitely see why for a lot of people it's their favorite book. I cannot really say which Harry Potter book is my favorite but I do think that Prisoner of Azkaban would be in the top three but I just haven't judgments on that. It's just Lupin is just so incredibly wonderful. The only teacher in Defense Against the Dark Arts who is like actually a good person. I love that we are going to Hogsmeade in this book which just gave me such cozy and nice vibes. Thinking about experiencing your first visit to Hawksmaid just makes me so happy. This story is the last one before it gets really quite dark with all the Voldemort stuff. Yeah, I really, really like this book. But yeah, I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup, then I'm gonna have a nice dinner with my family and with my 
boyfriend and then have the live show and then that was my birthday it's really that boring but you know there are worse things that can happen i just need to celebrate it twice as hard next year when i turn 22. it's just a shame that's all that i can say about it i don't really have anything to complain about it's just boring <laughs> hi guys so it is april 16th today and i'm not continuing the vlog here but i was so stupid and i forgot to film an ending for my first owls readathon reading vlog so this was the vlog for week one and two and there is going to be a second vlog for week three and four because otherwise this was going to be an even longer <laughs> reading vlog and i feel like i'm just constantly rambling to those who have watched until the end props to you i personally wouldn't have watched it till the end but yeah as you have noticed from this vlog i'm just a really slow reader i finished two books for one of those i only had to read 90 pages and the second one was sadie i read like 100 something pages in harry potter this first reading vlog i wouldn't really call it a success but i can also not answer the question about whether the second reading vlog will be any better because i personally don't really think so <laughs> I'm disappointing myself and you guys probably also but if you enjoyed this first reading vlog please give it a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below follow me on all of my different social media pages if you want everything that I talked about in this video will be in the description box down below and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video bye